Hello, welcome back. This video is about ChatGPT API. One AI has released the ChatGPT API, and we can use it to create the applications as we want. By the end of this video, you will see how we can create our AI chatbot similar to ChatGPT with few lines of Python code. But before that, let's go and see the latest API info news here article. So it says that introducing ChatGPT and wish for APIs. Let's not go with the wish for APIs for now. We are only focusing on ChatGPT. Let's scroll all the way down here where it says ChatGPT, ChatGPT API. So the ChatGPT model family we are releasing today, GPT 3.5 Turbo is the same model used in the chart gpt product this is the same model that is powering the chart gpt if you haven't gone through the chart gpt ui i have created a video earlier please refer that and have a practice yourself and see how the chart gpt ui works and the u the api of course it costs some price but it says that it is priced at 0 0.002 for 1000 tokens so it's 10 times cheaper than their existing GPT 3.5 models. But in the beginning, they will provide us a free trial and you, you can utilize that in three month time period. So let's see how it works. The steps that we will be performing in this video. First, we will create an account in the open AI, then get the API key because we need the API key to use in the Python code to generate prompts and uh, to do use similar to what that GPT UI does. For that, we will first go through the platform.openai.com. If you click this, by the way, I will provide the code and all the things that I mentioned in this video in the description. So you can just go there and copy the code and use and practice yourself. I have already logged into the system. If you haven't created the account before, you need to create the account. And then this is the UI that will be redirected to you. We will be just focusing on the API keys. So on the top right corner, if you see here, you can see the view API keys. So here is the API keys and there will be all the API keys that you have created. And by the way, you can just create new secret key and then it shows this for you. This is how the API key is generated. And it is saying here that please save this secret key somewhere safe and accessible. For security reasons, you won't be able to view it again through your OpenAI account. So always save this somewhere. For I already have created, so I don't need this. And by the way, don't share this private key with anyone else. I will say OK, but then I will immediately delete this. It's gone. Now we have the API key. So what is the next step? We will store the open AI API key securely and read it. So how to, how to securely store the API keys? So here, how, what we can do, you can go to some folder. Now let's see, I am in the chat GPT AI IPython notebook. Let's see what I have here. Here you see that I have dot env file and there is a file called chat gpt api this is the same notebook i have saved that particular api key in the dot env file and i am loading that api key in the notebook how you can do is you can import os package or library and then from dot env import load dot env so we are using .env Python package and then you can pass the load.env. So we load the environment variables from the .env file. After this, you can just print the API key or you can just use os.getenv and open AI API key is the variable name that is saved inside .env. This is how you can securely put your API keys. Now we created our AP open AI account. We, we get the API keys from there and then we securely store the API keys. What is next step is to install the open AI Python package. So how we can do that? So we can just pass this exclamation pip install open AI queue. 
So if we run this, it will install the OpenAI already in the notebook itself. And the queue is here just to say that don't output anything when the installation is happening. We, have, we can press Shift Enter. So it will install the package. This is how it works. Now I can import the OpenAI. So if you run Shift Enter, then I imported the OpenAI. Now I need to load the API key. I have shown you how to do it here, but you need to pass in this format openai dot API key and you need to pass the openai API key. We did all the preliminary parts. Now we are going to create AI chatbot similar to ChatGPT. First, we need to pass the system message. It helps to set the behavior of the assistant. This is how it works. So you can pass role, system, content, and you, you need to give the chatbot that you are a helpful assistant. So it will act as an assistant for us. Next, this is the main, main part where the magic happens. So we say while true, we say message equals to input. So we want to make this similar to chat GPT UI. We need to pass the message and the input. And here I have just kept one some emoji here, which is the developer emoji. If you want to put whatever you want, there is a shortcut for Mac. It is control command and space. It will open up a new palette, which shows all the emoji here. And you can select whatever you want from here. And on the windows, it is windows, windows key and then dot or maybe semicolon. You can try both. And you can select uh, the emoji type. Let's close it for now. And then here we say if message, messages dot append. So we want to append a role we are giving the user now here. And the content is the message that we will be typing. Right. And then here is where we load the model that API provides us. So chat completion. So we need to use the open AI dot chat completion. And then we create a model. There is a model. We provide GPT 3.5 Turbo. This is the same model that is being used in the chat GPT UI. Then we pass messages as messages. Now on the reply, chat completion dot choices and message dot content. And we want to print the reply for us. We can say messages dot append role assistant content. Now let's run the following code. Shift enter it is asking for us to input something and there is also showing the up and down arrow for the history let's say what is pi spark it gives us the output okay pi spark is an open source distributed computing framework for big data processing and all this information this is how the api works and let's say that we want to have the follow-up question after this we can say how is it different from Python and enter and let's see what it replies it says Python is a general purpose programming language and then PySp in contrast PySpark is a specialized framework for distributed data processing and analysis if you want to see the history you can just press the up arrow and down arrow it will show you the history so you can type as many questions as you want with ChatGPT API now, but it works as a ChatGPT. So yeah, this is all what I wanted to show you in this video. It's really good to see how OpenAI has progressed and provided this ChatGPT API. One thing that you need to notice is that it costs some money, as I said before. And if you want to know how much of the free uses you have used till now, platform.openai.com where we generated the API keys and then if you go to the uses button here it will show you how much of the free trial you have used for me I have just used 0 0.03 dollar out of the 18 dollar it is given for me I hope you like this video if yes please press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already it motivates me to create new content thank you for watching and See you in the next video.